Go. Okay, so this is a quick instruction on how to calibrate tracking generator of Evans uh, spectrum analyzer. Uh, you would need a power meter or another spectrum analyzer that was calibrated. Uh, you also would need a 20 decibel attenuator and uh, an Android tablet uh, to control the device. Uh, first of all, you need to attach the 20 decibel attenuator to the power meter uh, to help our measurements. Then, you need to boot up the spectrum analyzer using this key combination to get a calibration menu. Okay, so as you can see, calibration menu active. The display might be not the best, but... So, in the device menu, you should see this button. Uh, if you haven't seen it, just try again. Now, we need to connect the power meter to the tracking generator output. And uh, using application, connect to the device. Okay, so this is our device. Give it a second. Now it's connected. We can see the spectrum. Now you need to go to the frequency center and punch in this combination and press enter. Now you should see manual calibration at the bottom of the main menu. Go there, go to the generator calibration, press left until you see 37 megahertz. Make sure that this value is minus 35 if you're using 20 decibel attenuation. If you're using anything else, just uh, take minus 15 and subtract uh, the value of your attenuator. Now, you should press set and look at your power meter or your spectrum analyzer. Uh, as we can see now, the value is minus 29.94. This is the value you should type in here. Type it, check, double check it, then press right. You should see appear here. Yeah, now it's there. Press next, press set. You should repeat this process until all of your points are calibrated. There's about 100 of them. So this process may take some time. After you're done with all of them, as you can see I did this previously with uh, another without an attenuator. Once you're done, you can disconnect from the device, close the app, unscrew your device from the power meter, and take a single simple cable, like this one. The better cable you use, the better results you will get. Connect it to the tracking generator and to the reference input. Now, you can check the value that you are receiving on the input. Here, as you can see, it's pretty accurate. I have calibrated it previously, so it should match. Now, if you're having trouble with your, with your analyzer and you want to recalibrate it, go to the device menu, go to the calibration and press calibrate analyzer. Please note that you need uh, your USB power to be plugged in in order for this to work. So just press calibrate Ah, I made a mistake. Uh, note that you need to disable all markers before you start this process, otherwise it just simply won't work. Okay, held the button down too long. Let's do this again. Calibration menu active. Now I will disable the marker, go to the calibration, calibrate analyzer, and now it goes and calibrates itself. Uh, after it's done, you should get uh, pretty accurate results. You can double check it using an external uh, generator, but this is pretty much it.